The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to roughly draw out the shape of my face. I'm working from um, a mirror, but I just wanted to show you the drawing. So the rough shape of my face is, it kind of comes up down like a heart shaped face. It's almost like an oval with a slight um, narrow chin. So I've just roughly done that with light pencil first. I'm then using what I know about facial proportions, which you've been learning in previous lessons, by just really lightly marking out about halfway down the face. I'm then making little marks to divide it into five sections because I know that the eyes should fit in five times across the face. Therefore, on the second one, I'm going to draw the eye, really observing the shape in the mirror. Making sure that the corner of my, both corners of my eye go to each point that I've already previously marked out when I divided it into five. So I'm missing the middle section. It's almost where the nose would go. And I'm drawing in that second eye, making sure that I'm going from each corner to corner. Again, where I've divided it into five sections. It might always look a little strange at first. Um, when you put the eyes halfway down the face, but that is where they go. So now I'm marking halfway down between the eye and the chin. This is rough again, but we're just practicing facial proportions. My nose comes roughly about the corner of my eye down, but that is not a set rule. You want to observe what's going on for you in the mirror. So I'm going to be drawing what I can see. So I'm just actually drawing the line of the bottom of the nose, actually really looking at what's happening in the mirror. You can never normally as well, you can never see just two, two round circles. You need to make sure that you're trying to be accurate here. It's almost like a wave. Of course, everyone looks different, mm -hmm. but that is roughly what mine looks like. Now, I'm going to do halfway between the nose and the chin. So again, this is practicing what we've learned previously about facial proportions. I've roughly put marks where my mouth comes up to. So this little line, or the line that I've created, which is halfway between the nose and the chin, is where the middle of the lips are going to be. I'm really trying to observe the shape of my lips. I'm getting that first one in. When I've got the first one in, then I can draw the bottom lip in relation to it. I'm continuously looking in the mirror to see if it seems like it's accurate. If it's not, no big deal, just use the rubber. Now I'm going to draw those little corners in of the eye that when you get a little you've got the skin and then you can see the eyeball within it then I'm going to, um, to draw the circles within the eye the circle will never touch the bottom the bottom lid of your eye um, of your eye there's always going to be a little bit of a gap there which is normally a misconception so people might make that mistake but I'm again really looking at what's happening in the mirror I'm going to roughly mark in where the, um, the bridge of my nose goes. And now, so I'm going to be adding some details now. I'm going to start drawing in my eyebrow. But when I started drawing in my eyebrow, I observed that I would want to put the eyelid in first, draw that in, so I know where the, the eyebrow is in relation to the eyelid. So I'm really looking at the space above my eyelid to my eyebrow. So I roughly mark that in and I'm going to do the same for the other side. So I've remembered I need to 
to do the eyelid again. See what you can see there. And then going to add in the, the iris and now putting the hairline in. So I've got a bit of a fringe so I'm just going to be drawing that fringe in and my hair is up in, in a bun so I can't see the rest of my hair. This activity is just to practice the facial proportions and then when you get used to it, you won't need to use this technique anymore. So I'm going to get in those little extra details. What I'd like you to do is I would like you to add tonal range. So we want to go from light to dark. I just wanted to show you how I would actually draw the face. I'm going to put some suggestion of the ear, but I can't really see much of my ear in this angle. So I'm just going to put a little bit. But your ear is normally going to be in between the line that you created for your eye level and the line that you created for your nose level. So in between those two lines, you might see a little bit of your ear. Again, depends what angle you're, you're looking from. But yes, I would like you to practice doing directional shading and applying tonal range. So you want to go from light to dark. How I would do that is I like to squint at the face and that's normally where I can see where the dark areas are and the light areas are.